When we're talking about this river, it's a river of life, it gave life to everything. From the Darling right down through to the Murray Mount. They've been gone for thousands and thousands of years. Oh, we have is our dreams. When people got sick, they'd bring them to the Quran and bathe them in the, in, in the water. It was healing to Ngaranya. That river lasted. It was looked after until about 200 years ago. It's in you. It's born into you. You know, I might go into Adelaide for a meeting and I might see some Ngaranyari that are living in Adelaide. Hey, Brother Tom, how was my Kurong? And I say, not too good. I say, not the same Kurong. Need water, need water back to freshen it up again. Now what they got down there is a big sand dredging machine. I call it a life support machine. For years I've been watching, watching this, my part of the country, how it was, it was dying. When you see things like that, it disturbs you and it makes you think what we should be doing. So it was get everyone together, get all the river nations together and get everyone dancing. I've been thinking about this for a long, long time. There was a need to do ceremony, to dance the spirit back into the lands and the people, from one end of the river to the other. We kind of got this sense that something big was going to happen. And of course, you never think it's going to happen in your lifetime, do you? Oh, geez, we had no money. <laughs> I sent the web page and rang up and moved up and he said, yeah, come on. And uh, we're using our money for our bills. The Ring Balloon has been around for thousands and thousands of years, where our people would visit with each other. They visited and they, they traded, but they also danced and sang songs about the creation of this country. There's nothing more important to us than to see the water flowing right to the end, down to the mouth of the Murray. That's the most important thing that we have to do in our lifetime. Hey! We grew up along the river, we grew up on the lakes. We done all the different cultural things. It was handed down to us. When I was born on Nolman Indian Mission, the river was crystal clear like the beach. You had the yabbies, you had the turtles, you had the mussels, you had everything, as well as the plants that grow along it. And when you see those uh, diminishing, you know, you know that something's horribly wrong. Everything's out of balance. So until we can learn how to find that balance, we're going to have problems. When you ask how important the river and the lakes is to us, it's like taking our spirit away from us. You're dead. You're nothing. You got no feeling. That's how important the river is to, to me and to my grandchildren, to my children. In the end, you know, it starts to affect your mind and how you, how you think about yourself and who you are. And that's where doubt comes in. And I, I hope that one thing that we achieve through this ceremony is that, you know, we no longer have a doubt in anyone's minds. That we ourselves don't doubt the importance of 
our identity and maintaining our identity um, and who we are as a people. Bring the people together. That's the most powerful energy you can get, is to bring people together, so that we look after this country together. You could feel it last night when you were dancing. You could feel it, and it was like the spirits were going. This is just one of the best things that's happened to us for a very, very long time. Thank you, thank you, thank you. This morning I got a couple of phone calls that it's, that it's raining in Kubapiti and it's raining in Murray Bridge. It's not just raining, they, they used a more colourful language when they told me how, how it was coming down, so we'll leave that for later. Not just cats and dogs? Not cats and dogs, no, no, it was... <laughs> <laughs> the knowledge is with us. We know how to look after this place. We've been here for thousands and thousands of years. We're not going anywhere.